Mid Journey V6. It's been out for a minute, but they just released a new feature called Style Reference, and I wanted to see if I could recreate a meme that I've been seeing all over my feed, but with a little bit of a twist. So I'll walk through the process of how I made that thumbnail that you clicked on in this video. Let's get right into it. So I started with the idea of I wanted to turn her into a bear, and I kept the idea very basic, a simple idea to start, which was a bear looking up. And I used the new style reference parameter, this S ref, to use the image URL of that initial image that I was trying to transform in that style reference. And then I also included the new style weight parameter to boost it all the way up because I wanted it to match as closely as possible. To that end, I even included it as uh, image reference along with it. So I was just kind of hitting it from both sides to try and get it as close to that original as possible. And I ran this with the basic idea, and this was what I got. A little bit creepy and weird. The eyes look a little human, but it's a good start. And you don't always have to get it on the first shot. I ran a subtle variation and I got this image, which was a little bit closer. The eyes look a bit less human, but I, I wasn't fully satisfied yet. Um, I, I wanted to get a bit more space to work with though. So what I did was I used the zoom feature and I reprompted it. And when I did that, I added some detail about what was going to fill in that new space in the canvas. So I added that the bear was sitting at a table with a variety of hot sauces on it. And you could see it did a pretty good job. And then I had these bottles, right? I wanted to get rid of them before I started doing any more uh, variations so that they didn't sort of show up in, in my new images. Uh, so I ran very region over here and I just masked them out and ran the prompt to get rid of it. And it did a pretty good job. So this was that in paint, just got rid of those. And now I was happier to run some more variations. So from here, I have the, the bear looking up and then he's sitting at a table with a variety of hot sauces on it. We still have our uh, style reference. The image reference was no longer in this prompt. Um, it was just the style reference. So from here, I ran more variations. And through that, you can see it got way closer. Sometimes it just takes a couple variations. And here I was very happy, but I also realized that I didn't want it to be a bear. I wanted it to be more of a dog, like a doge. So what I did was I ran a remix. And when you run a remix, it lets you change the prompt and you can use it to swap subjects, but carry the form and composition of whatever image you're remixing. So I used a remix subtle. And when I changed that prompt, I changed it to uh, a doge smiling and looking up. And I actually forgot to, to change bear, but the result worked anyway, so I didn't mess with it. But usually I would put the doge is sitting on the table. I would have kept that going. But in this case, it worked out just fine, and he came out pretty cute. And once I got this, I was just trying to personalize it a little bit more, make it uh, ideal for me. So I did some more in painting, and I, I painted out this. When I did that, I added to the prompt solid black background because I didn't want it to fill it with like more plants or something similar. So by putting that in the prompt, it helped make it so that I got that solid black background. And you can see I even added a no parameter no plants green so that it just didn't keep any of that stuff in there and when you add the no parameter it looks something like this in your prompt right and from here what i wanted to do was i wanted to try and put my name on the hot sauce bottles and i don't know if you noticed this but i did more in painting so i went over here to to very region and i painted the label like this and i added to the prompt the hot sauce labels say nick floats and I ran that. And when I did, this is what I got. You can see in that area that I impainted, it put Nick floats. Super subtle, but kind of cool. A little signature, right? Uh, and, and I was super happy with this. I knew that this was pretty much exactly what I wanted. I could crop it and, and do whatever I want elsewhere uh, to make it more or less perfect for, for my use case. So I just upscaled this. And this was a, a subtle upscale. And this is where it ended up which is pretty great. So we used a variety of techniques, right? We use in-painting, we use zoom out, we use remixing, we use variations, we use subtle, all sorts of stuff. We use the style reference tool, image reference, lots of things coming together. That's it for today. So I hope this was super helpful. Follow me, subscribe. I also have a course link below that you can go and check out if you really wanna dig deep. All right, peace.